All right, we're back and we are talking about talent once again. Am I beating a dead horse? I don't know. Maybe I am. I guess you'll have to keep watching to find out. But I have come to the conclusion, and it's pretty undeniably true, that talent does play a crucial role in athletic success. If you watched my last video, I came to this conclusion at the end, if you were paying attention. But we're going to talk a little bit more about it today in this video, right now. Last night I was watching Disney Plus with my daughter Andy and we know we were not watching a princess movie but once again I'm sitting there thinking wow this is such a good life lesson for me to learn from this kids movie and here it is and it's totally applicable to this whole talent conversation. We were watching Monsters University where Mike Wazowski goes to college to get into the scare program but he doesn't get into the scare program because the dean just doesn't think he's a very scary monster. And you can't teach somebody to be scary. You're either scary or not scary. Scariness is the true measure of a monster. If you're not scary, what kind of a monster are you? And so Mike Wazowski, being the go-getter that he is, decides to enter the scare games where he's going to prove everybody wrong and just show them how scary he really is by, by winning these, these games. No matter how hard he tries, he knows all the books, he knows all the definitions, he gets an A in every class, but no matter how hard he tries, he is just not a very scary monster. And this is applicable to sports. We can try really, really hard and, and, and work really, really hard, but if you don't have the genetic makeup to be a pro cyclist, then maybe you won't be the best in the world. You can still accomplish a lot, but you have to be okay with just being okay. Well, I think it's time I leave the greatness to other monsters. I'm okay just being okay. But there's one huge glaring thing to keep in mind here. You don't know. You don't know how talented you are. All you can do is try. Mike Wazowski thought, despite everybody telling him that he wasn't, he thought he was a scary monster. And you know what he did? Even though he got kicked out of that scare program, he went and did the scare games. And, and by golly, he almost won those things. Actually, they, they did, but he cheated. But that's besides the point. He wanted to prove everybody wrong. And he just kept going and going and going. He had this never give up attitude about him. And that's what I'm saying you need. You can't just say, oh, well, I started cycling and I kind of suck at it. And I guess I just wasn't built for this. That's not the right attitude. The right attitude is, I don't know how talented I am, so I'm going to keep trying and trying and trying and just see how far I can go with this. That is the right attitude to have. And to knock it out of the park, I've got a joke for you. What do you call a dinosaur that never gives up? A try, 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 ceratops. <laughs> so good. Mike Wazowski went to Monsters University to get better at scaring. So where do you go if you want to get better at cycling? Ignition Coach Co, baby. Who holds the all-time scare record? Let me, let me ask you that. Who holds the all-time scare record? I'll tell you. It's the president of Monsters University, Dean Hardscrabble. And what's the point of all this? Well, it helps to have a teacher who knows what they're doing. And that's why I'm telling you that at Ignition Coach Co., our coaches are fast. And I think it helps to have a fast coach because fast coaches equals fast athletes. Not only do you get a coach that knows the science behind cycling, but you also get an athlete who knows what it's like to train and to win and to lose and everything in between. So don't wait any longer. Sign up for a free consultation call today with Ignition Coach Co. Originally, we've been talking about this concept of talent as like a ratio. And originally I had said that it was a 10% talent, 90% hard work. And my point in saying was that we give talent too much credit and hard work should be what we talk about most. Maybe that ratio is off. My friends, uh, said that it was probably closer to 50-50, which is probably probably more accurate. But that's I think the whole idea of a ratio is you're thinking of it the wrong way. I think a better way to think of it as is buckets. You've heard this concept of buckets before. So I, I'm going to say that bucket one is your talent bucket and bucket two is your effort bucket. However, bucket one is broken up into two portions. There's a controllable portion and then there's an uncontrollable portion. And so well, maybe I should have rephrased that. There's a portion that's out of your control and within your control. So the portion that's out of your control, we'll call this the bottom of bucket one, <laughs> is 
your talent or maybe even call it your genetic potential. You can't control this. You are, you are born with certain genes that predispose you for good athletics or not. Now, the top of that bucket, you'll call this the controllable part, are things like knowledge. You can always learn more about cycling or experience. You can always gain more experience through racing or even skill. You can, you can increase your bike handling abilities and your skills. All of those things are within your control and are within that talent bucket. That's bucket one. Bucket two is your effort. Everything within bucket two is your control. What put, what goes into the bucket comes out of the bucket. However, there are a few things to keep in mind here. All right. First of all, the goal of both of these buckets is to get the most total water, the maximum amount of total water between both buckets. You understand that? Ne the next thing to keep in mind here is it might seem that bucket two that you could just keep filling, filling, and filling. And at first glance, it seems that way, but we all have true physical limits that we can't surpass. Go past these physical limits and bad things happen. So there is a limit for how much effort you can put into an activity, and those are gonna be your body's limitations. Now, the other thing to keep in mind, which is crucial, is that we don't know how much talent we have. So at the end of the day, we don't even know how much water's in bucket one because we don't know how much talent we have. So at the end of all of this, it's kind of a toss up. We don't know what this is. We don't know how much water we have. All we can control are the controllables. We can control how much effort we put in and we can control how much skill and knowledge and experience we develop in the talent bucket. And I guess why I'm getting so caught up in this whole talent conversation is that we're missing the big picture. You can't control how talented you are, at least to a certain degree. You can't choose what genes you have. So why sit here and debate about it? Just do what you can do. I really like the quote from Angela Duckworth, where she warns us that by shining our spotlight on talent, we risk leaving everything else in the shadows. So I admit, talent is crucial for athletic success. To quote a famous basketball saying, you can't teach height. But also to quote a famous basketball player, Nate Robinson, a not so tall NBA pro, was famously known for coining the phrase heart over height. And I like that. I'd much rather talk about somebody's dedication, commitment, and drive to a goal than their genetic potential. If you're liking these coaching slash philosophy style videos, be sure to let me know in the comments. If you don't like them, I guess you can let me know that in the comments as well. If you want to support my video creating abilities, you can support me on Patreon. You can head on over there. Uh, a big shout out to all of those who are already supporting me. And that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Mike, you're not scary. Not even a little. But you are fearless.